Hello, this video is going to be covering how to do a backup from your 78 series or similar NVRs and XVRs to a flash drive or external hard drive. Now for starters, make sure that your flash drive or hard drive is no larger than two terabytes. Since it needs to be in FAT32 format, that is the maximum limitation for that format. To begin, right click and go to the main menu. You're gonna to go to backup and at the top, just leave it at video. If you need to do any pictures that you may have taken, you can click on pictures and follows pretty much the same rules. So right now I'm just gonna search for channel one. So I'm going to deselect all and just select channel one. Uh, you can also do events down here for specific things such as motion, detection or any of your intelligent detection setups. Next, you can choose the record type here. Uh, you can also choose uh, manual recordings if you do so from the live view, uh, the timing recordings and event recordings. Next, you want to choose the date and start time. So by default, it should be on today's date. Um, otherwise, you can click this little button here and just pick whatever range you want. And then hit search. And here it will tell you on the bottom the amount of files that you have available to download. So right now, I'm just going to do today's date. Change the time. And over here, you want to make sure this is set to AVI. DAV is the file type that the unit uh, uses by default when it's saving the files to the hard drive. And only very specific programs can view those files. So AVI is a more universal format, so make sure it is set to AVI. Next, hit search. And as you can see here, there's a play button next to all these various files. If you want to view what you're going to be downloading, you can click that to get a preview. If you want to download everything, it shows you down here at the bottom. It's going to be 837 megabytes. For this example, I'm just going to do one file. And down here is the selected device. This is your external hard drive or flash drive. As you can see, I don't have one connected currently, so I'm going to plug one in now. Since I've plugged in the flash drive, I'm going to hit detect. And now you can see here, you can see it. So I have this selected, I have the device selected, and I'm going to click Start. If you do need to format the device from the NVR, you can click this button before you click Start in order to make sure that it is on the right format. Now you can see the backup is finished. So now we can remove our flash drive and plug it into the computer. Okay, so now that we're here over at the computer, I'm going to plug in the flash drive that we just had in our NVR. And here is the video file we downloaded from the NVR. Now, usually most video players are not able to handle playing video files that were created in H.265 format. 
If you have your recordings in H.264, they should play in most media players. However, if you do not, you may need to use a special program that supports H.265. So I re usually recommend a third-party program called VLC Media Player, and you'll see it by this little orange cone here. Just double-click, and you can see it's playing no problem. If you try to do another media player, you might get an error such as this. The reason for that is because the format of the video is in H.265, and most players cannot support that. So if you do not have another third-party program to play H.265, you may need some other software to convert the files to H.264 and try it on another media player. And that's all there is to doing a backup.